Finishing something requires a lot of time and effort, but starting something, heck, you can start something right now. If you've ever thought about writing a novel, then there is no better time to start than now. The best time to begin drafting a manuscript was 20 years ago. The next best time is this weekend. I think Hemingway or Steinbeck or somebody said that, I can't remember. But don't be quite so quick to whip the cover off your typewriter, for there are a few crucial decisions you need to make in order to set yourself up for successful smithing of sentences towards the completion of your novel. Today I'm going to share with you three important steps that will help set you up for success as you journey towards writing your novel. And as a little company on that journey, why not subscribe to my channel so that you'll be greeted with new writing videos at every stop along the way. Alright, the first step you need to take to start your novel this weekend is to come up with your ideas. You'll notice that I said ideas, as in plural, more than one. A successful novel is rarely based around a single idea or a single plot, and you can get a lot of mileage out of combining different ideas in unusual ways. Rather than thinking about just writing a mystery or a romance or a fantasy novel, think about what novel ideas you can combine together. Yes, it's a mystery, but the murders all happen inside different museums. Yes, it's a romance, but all the characters are flying cats who can talk. Yes, it's a fantasy, but the hobbits are all part of the mob. It's called Mafia Hobbits, or the Shire Pranos. These ideas can be related to a character, or an element of the setting, or a plot point. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you focus on combining a couple of interesting ideas together in your novel. Good stories often have an element of a familiar plot or character trope combined with something a little bit different. You will get a lot of mileage out of having different ideas sort of bump and rub into each other throughout your story, the sort of reactions you get when the differences and incongruities between these different ideas get highlighted. This is an immense help because it will keep your story interesting and give you no shortage of material to use as you progress through your novel. Speaking of progress, step number two is to determine where and when you're going to write your novel. A good length for a novel is around 80,000 words. Some are shorter or longer, but 80,000 is a good length that no one can say isn't a novel. You need a plan for how you're going to get all that work done, specifically when you're going to write and how much you're going to write in each session. A thousand words a day will finish a draft in about three months. 500 words a day will take about six months. 3,000 words every weekend will also take about six months. Both are totally reasonable time frames to finish a draft. Remember, a lot of full-time authors only publish one book a year and they have all of their time available to write. If you have other commitments, work, school, kids, whatever, then you need to figure out where you can fit writing into your schedule. Many people don't finish their novel because they never come up with a plan for when they're going to write it and then life gets in the way. Maybe you can write for half an hour or an hour first thing in the morning, or on your lunch break, or on the train ride to work. If you can get 500 words a day in like this, then you're golden. Maybe you can second yourself away for two or three hours every Saturday afternoon and write two or three thousand words. That would also work. Any schedule can work as long as you consistently produce writing, but not every schedule will work for everybody. Figuring out what will work for you and arranging the other parts of your life as best you can will help ensure that you write consistently and eventually cross the finish line on your novel. Nothing will keep you on track like having an understanding of what you need to accomplish every day or every week. This brings us to step number three, you need to figure out how you're going to write your novel. Novel writing methods can generally be broken down into two categories. You have the plotters and the pantsers. Plotters plan out their story before they start drafting. This might include sketching out the mechanics of each scene, detailing all of their characters, and generally creating a plan that they will follow as they start drafting. Different plotters plot to different degrees, and different plotters plot different elements of their story. Some people plot out every single scene of their novel in great detail, 
Others only get the major arcs and major elements of the characters down. Pantsers, on the other hand, just start writing. They figure out the story as they go, writing each scene and seeing where the plot and characters take them. Again, here there are different methods. Some pantsers have a general idea in their mind of where the story is going to go. Others have no idea. They just start with a character in a situation and see where it leads them. Some pantsers have a specific ending that they try to work to. Others, again, just kind of see where the story goes. Both methods work, but you will likely need to find that one method that works best for you. If you are completely unsure, then I would advise you to make at least a basic outline before you start writing. One thing that pantsers can often run into is a corner, because they write themselves into one. If you're a new writer and you try to pants your draft, there's a possibility that you will get stuck and give up because you can't get out of the plot that you've created. With an outline, you always know where the story is going when you sit down to write each day. This will potentially head off any issues with you getting stuck. And if you don't like the outline, you can always change it or abandon it partway through the drafting process. A large part of writing your first novel is figuring out what method you like best and what works best for you. What's important is that you use a method that allows you to keep writing. That method will be different for different writers. Now there's obviously a lot more that goes into writing a novel. I have a ton of videos on this channel addressing specific topics if you need more information about something specific. But what I've covered here today, these three steps will help a lot to at least get you going. Writing is a lifelong journey and you will learn new things at every step of the way. And if you want some help with the things you need to learn, why not subscribe to my channel and check out all my other writing advice related videos. I hope you found the advice in this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.